Alright, this is the uh, first lesson in our new Basics of Premiere Pro uh, series. Um, what we have open here is just Premiere Pro, and w this uh, workspace here is one of their default um, or pre-installed workspaces for editing. Um, this is not the workspace I generally use. Uh, I've got dual monitors, so I wanted to fit everything in the monitors, so we're going to go ahead and use this. I want to go over the panels really quick. This panel here, this is our project panel. And pretty much every element in our Premiere Pro project will be in here. Everything we import, all of our videos, all of our sequences, etc. will be in here. And we'll go over this a little more once we put some items in here. This window right here, this is our source window and if we have a video over here in our projects uh, we could open this up and it's going to show it and we can play it and review it um, we can set in and out points and drag clips to our sequence uh, and so on and again we'll get into this a little more when we put a video in here this next window is our program window and this is what will display our actual sequence um, our editing and everything. Everything we've done on the timeline will be up here in this program window. Um, down here we have the tools and these are some basic uh, video editing tools and we'll go through each one of these in detail when we get a video. Um, over here on the left we have our effects. There's video transitions, video effects. Uh, many of these are this uh, similar video or similar effects you can get in Photoshop and After Effects. Um, audio transitions and audio effects. Um, now let's go ahead and import a video. To import a video into Premiere, we can either right click and choose import, or we can simply double click inside this project window and it will open up our save or our open dialog box. And I have a video here which I just recorded. Um, we're going to open it up, and there, now it's sitting here in our project window. Um, I was going to record this in HD, but uh, I, I had a feeling that the uh, screen capture software I'm using for this tutorial probably wouldn't like that, so I recorded at the lowest value my camera would record, and that's 640 by 480. Um, it tells you what the length of it is, what the frames per second is, um, and the audio properties. Now, um, this is um, one of the two views you can have in the project window. You can click down here on thumbnail view or icon view, and it'll lay things out in kind of a grid here, and you can get a better visual representation of what the object is. Um, but we're going to stick to the list view. Um, now, what we need to do is we need to create a sequence. A sequence is where um, we do all of our editing. Without any sequences in this project, we really can't do anything um, of value, that is. So let's go down here to New Item and choose Sequence. And we're going to pick from these uh, presets here. There's uh, a ton of different presets. And the uh, closest one to uh, the video that I recorded would be this standard um, video, uh, standard and it's 720 by 480 uh, that's pretty much just a standard TV screen um, let's go down here to our uh, sequence name and we'll name it and we'll say let's see we'll go over to general here and these are some specs we can change our audio down to 44.1, which I believe is what our clip is recorded at. We can go to tracks. Let's go ahead and take the video tracks down to 2, or to 1. And audio tracks, let's just make 1. And let's go ahead and say OK. And there you go. Here's our new timeline for our sequence. We have one video track and one audio track. And you can now see um, our preview window here for the, the program, which program, uh, just think sequence. When you see program up here, this is our sequence. 
and then nothing in the source because we don't have anything loaded in the source window. So let's go ahead and do that now. We can simply double click on the item and it will load it in our source window. Um, and that doesn't mean that it's in our project or anything now, or in, inside of our sequence. Um, there's still nothing in our timeline. This is really just so that we can review um, the, the footage before uh, tossing it into our timeline here. So we can we can scrub here with the playhead and kind of get an idea of what's going on. It's just a video of my dogs down here in the basement. Another thing we can do, we can set in and out points. And if you're familiar with uh, video editing at all, you'd know what that means. But basically we can choose, say we wanted to come in here around four and a half minutes or so, and, or seconds, and set an end point. Then we can come over here and say this is where we wanted to stop the clip. We can set our out point. And then what we can do is simply drag this clip down to our timeline. And uh, for whatever reason, it created an, uh, another audio track here. But this is essentially the audio track for this video. So now it's in our program. We can see it over here in our program window. The nice thing in contrast to the very old method we used to have to edit video with, um, with the old editing machines, we can very easily come in here and adjust the length of our clip. And this is not destructive editing. We can actually bring the length back out and it saves it. Um, it, it we're, not, we're not actually cropping the video, we're just limiting how much of the video is being seen. So we have the ability to continue to edit it. So let's go ahead and I'm going to delete this clip, which we can simply select it and then click the delete key. And I want to drag our in and out points all the way out here. And I want to drag the whole video in. So here's our whole video. And I want to go over some of the tools we have over here in the tool panel. The razor tool or I'd like to can refer to the cut tool as a way to, to cut a clip. So if we click this razor tool, we can come down the timeline here and choose where we want to cut. We can cut it right there. Um, the shortcut key for this is C. Uh, and getting to know the shortcut keys in here is uh, very handy to move around quickly because video projects can turn into quite a, quite a long process depending on what you're working on. So knowing any other any possible way to make it quicker is, is great. Um, to get back to our arrow key or our tool is V. And what I want to do now is I want to show uh, a nice feature um, which you might have noticed when we were messing with the clip a second ago. We can drag this clip and you'll see up in the um, program preview it's showing us what we're cutting off and at what frame we're going to be leaving it at. So if, so we're not doing this blindly. It also shows the time code in there. So let's go ahead and bring this back. Also, um, the ripple edit tool is a tool which if we click and uh, we, we drag to the left here to shorten this clip, instead of leaving a space where we uh, where the clip is it it's going to go ahead and pull the uh, other clip and every clip after it back as such and I'm going to undo that and show you the difference between just normally uh, the normal edit with the arrow key see that leaves a gap there so the ripple will allow you to adjust this clip or trim this clip while keeping it attached to this. Um, now, what we also have is the rolling edit tool. And what this one will do is it's going to, as I click and pull, it's making the, tri the clip on the left, it's, it's pulling the length out, but it's trimming the length of the uh, clip on the right. All right, now another thing I wanna show is uh, we're going to look at transitions 
and we're going to make a transition between these two clips. Because if I play this, there's going to be a jump since we've edited this clip, so they're not, um, it's not the whole clip anymore. So let's, I'm going to hit spacebar to play the movie. And you'll see that it, it cuts very quickly there. Um, and what we can do is come over here to our video transitions and we can pick a transition. Um, let's just choose a dissolve and let's do a cross dissolve. And we're going to click and drag this over here to where our two clips meet and let go. And that's going to create a transition. If we move our playhead here up in the program window you'll see the nice um, dissolve into the other clip. Well, we can come up here and look at this other tab here and we can edit our effect if we wanted to. We can pull out how long the uh, fade's going to be and we can do some other stuff here that we'll go through another day. Um, another thing I'd like to show you is we're going to cut with our uh, razor tool. So hit the C key. And we're just going to pick anywhere here. And we're going to get our arrow back at V. And I'm going to move this clip up into a new um, track. So it's going to create a new track. And the purpose for this is that I want to um, I want to move this over the other clip here but I also need to drag the audio down to another clip because these clips are, are linked together and I don't want it to go over or cut into the audio of uh, video one here. So let's drag this back a little bit. So there we have, now we have this clip that goes on top of the other one and I just wanted to show you the hierarchy here. Track or Video one or track one is going to be on the bottom um, and anything above it will show through first. So that video is still playing underneath, but we're not going to see it. We're going to hear the audio mixed in with this audio, but we're not going to see it. Uh, with this clip here, I want to show you some more options here. And we're going to go back over to the effect control. And this kind of gives us some um, general properties for that clip and it allows us to manipulate them. This is a timeline of just our clip. And if I drag the playhead here, it's gonna drag the, it's gonna also drag the playhead down here and it's gonna show us where we're at on our video. And if we wanted to change the opacity of this clip, we could make it semi-transparent and it'll show through to the other clip. And it's gonna do that the entire span of that other clip until that other clip goes away. And we can even change our blending mode, and this is a common thing in Photoshop. I'll choose something. There. So that's going to change the way the clips are blended.